Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's something different. I did not expect to be filming a video right now. Let's talk about value. Stay tuned. And remember before we get started, would appreciate it. <clears throat> so I had a day at work, came home, had dinner, doing the dishes, sat down, turned on some booktube, and I see Big Al Does Booktube puts out a fantastic video, okay? Big Al Does Booktube, under 300 subscribers. I will link him down below. You all need to check him out. He reads a little bit of everything, but really, really good content. I always enjoy watching his videos. Um, we go back and forth on each other's comments, uh, since I shouted him out on support small booktube. So he raises the issue value in books and he talks about a number of different elements. Okay. I will link his specific channel below. I want you to go check it out. But, um, he encouraged people to talk in the comments about things. And I'm like, I'm not going to talk in the comments. I'm going to talk here to everyone. So let's get this thing some legs. Let's start talking about the value of books to each one of us, okay? Whether you are a viewer or a subscriber, whether you are a creator, let's break it down and let's find out. I love videos like this. <clears throat> so is it going to be a tag? If you want to call it a tag, call it a tag. But I also want to hear from all of my creator friends about the value that they place in reading. Okay. I would go with one. What is the obvious value in reading to you? Okay. Obvious value. So, um, a book can be read multiple times. It's cost efficient depending on the book. Uh, you know, the covers can bring you joy. Having specific covers lined up, having a collection can bring you joy. Um, collecting a certain author, trying to find all of their books and having a collection can bring someone joy. There's, um, I get joy out of finding vintage books, vintage paperbacks. Vintage paperbacks for me have lived a life and I love that about them because these books have legs these books have personality are they perfect no and they're not meant to be perfect they have been read by hundreds of people maybe tens of people probably but it's that type of thing is what I'm I'm trying to express is the feeling that you get when you search for a book and you find it and you find it at a great price, right? When you find a book at us on sale, on clearance, for a dollar, whatever, it just feels good. I've got some storms going on, so I'm sorry. Um, when you decide on collecting something, okay? I personally collect uh, books about Alice in Wonderland. When I see something at a thrift store or something at a library sale about Alice in Wonderland, automatically I'm, I'm bringing it home and I'm adding it to my collection. And I look at my collection and it brings me joy because that resonates with my childhood. Alice in Wonderland was such a huge part of my childhood that it just gives me those emotions all over again, right? Okay. Let's talk about emotions a little bit more. So, Lost Horizon, I have all these copies. I'm not gonna pull them out. Lost Horizon. Okay, so I have a hardcover there, and, and that's the Reader's Digest version, the Reader's Book, I guess. And then I have two vintage paperbacks. I have a Pan Book Limited that was gifted to me by a good friend, and I also have Lost Horizon, and this is my father's copy that he had. The reason why these books are valuable to me and why they have value in them is because they remind me of my dad. 
This is one of my dad's favorite movies. Um, he loved the story in this book. I read this last October in honor of his birthday. Not exactly sure why. I think I could sum it up in probably two pages as to why he loved this book. But when I see it, it's like a nod to my dad, right? And for someone to think about this book for me, you know, in a friendship, that means the world. That means the world. So these, even though they're not worth anything, they have value to me. They have value to me. And when I read these books, I don't know when I'm going to read it again, maybe next year. Um, it's going to take me down that road again. And it's going to remind me of the first time that I read them. And I'm going to enjoy remembering all the people that shared in the group read with me last year, right? So reading has absolute value. Now we can talk about value as in dollars. Okay. This book I picked up on eBay because I love the cover and I thought the story sounded interesting. I paid seven, no, I paid four, I think three or four dollars for it, something like that. It did not have, it did not have massive value to me until I connected it with one of my favorite authors. And when I bought this, I didn't know that David Irons wrote this. And David Irons is one of my, one, he's one of my favorite people right now because he's doing great things. Check out his Instagram. I'll list it down below. And also, I love his storytelling. His storytelling is fun. It's just good. And when I made the connection after I bought it, this book that I paid $3 for, I'm like, mm, I'll get to it one day, turned into something else just because of my experience with it. And that to me is amazing. So this has way more value. And the fact that when I bought it, it didn't mention that it was autographed at the time. And I didn't find out until later that it was. And that even created more value for me, right? Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, so maybe we'll come up with some tag questions at the end. There are certain books that my husband has read that I will always remember because he doesn't read much. So when he reads, I remember what he reads because it's like two books a year. So those books, I will always equate to him. Buddy reads. When I do buddy reads with people or group reads, the feelings, the emotion, the camaraderie that we have. I did a group read of The Night Circus last year. No offense to anyone that loves that book. We all did not get along with it at all. At all. And we had shared angst and shared commiseration and shared feelings about this book and why is it so popular and why don't I like it? I don't understand. That has a communal value to it, right? Because even though I would want to, I didn't get rid of it, did I? No, I have it here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I still have it here. Um, but when I look at it, even though I'm never gonna read it again and I'll always think, I thought I liked you, I didn't like you but I had such good memories reading you with a bunch of other people. And that's, that adds something to it, right? That adds something to the element of what we do and what we love. We are readers. Bottom line, that's it. That's what we do. Yesterday was National Read a Book Day in the United States. I'm not sure if it was worldwide or not, but I celebrated and I, I made sure I let people be aware that that's what yesterday was but it is one of our favorite activities. It is probably like the, pretty close to the best activity that I can think of that I love and that resonates with me. And that has value. That has so much value. Reading is my peace. Reading is my time. Reading is my way of escaping the world and diving into something brand new. And I think we can all find value in that, right? So let's, let's rewind. Let's talk about what we already talked about. Okay. So we talked about the obvious value of books. Okay. We're talking about monetary. We're talking about 
um, how you can get a book for a dollar and the book will continue to give you life as many times as you want to read it um, but it will also books have the power to reignite emotions and memories and um, it's a thing to experience with reading a book can be an experience and that has value whether you're reading a good book or a bad book right now over at my channel we're reading American Psycho and Dune at the same time kind of uh, and there's a lot of different experiences going on there and friendships are forming and connections are being made because people are finding common ground it's opening up dialogue and maybe it's two people that haven't never talked before or talked about a book and now they're gonna follow each other on social or now they're gonna subscribe to each other's channel or something like that and there's value in that too okay so I think I could go on and on and on about the value of reading um, I don't think I'm gonna turn this I'm not gonna weaponize this into a tag but I challenge someone out there to do that because I think it would be an awesome awesome tag so let me throw this uh, let me throw my two elements in there so question number one would be what is the obvious value of reading and question number two would be what is the hidden value of reading to you hmm I'll try it like that all right once again support small booktube big al does booktube let's give him some numbers man give his channel a peek a like and a, and a subscribe i loved this conversation i love these types of videos where we get to communicate and talk and like start passing the, the baton and like okay who's gonna go next who's gonna go next who's gonna talk about the value of reading so yeah I'm going to have to make a list probably. There's a lot. So there's monetary. Okay. There's emotional connection. And there's what's the last one. I was just, I just had something on the tip of my tongue and now I don't have it. Monetary, emotional, the impact that reading can have on you is also valuable so as I stated reading for me is like a treat it's like a spa it's like I get to just hunker down and snuggle up and get my tea or coffee and read and that's my time and I honor that time whether it be at stupid o'clock in the morning or before I go to bed or like right now when I shut off this video so those are my three okay so if you are interested in weaponizing this into a tag, you know who you are. I know who you are. Do it. Do it. I'm not going to do it. You do it. You do it. But give credit where credit is due. Okay. All right. And that's it here for me, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I hope this video made you think a little. Yeah. We need to appreciate the value of reading because I think sometimes we don't, right? We take it for granted. So let's not do that. Let's keep reading. All right. I hope you're reading good stuff. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, everyone, goodbye for now.